Peace and prosperity be unto all who's listening and watching. It's your girl, Shay Mela, right? And I'm back with another video. And I just want to say, be mindful of who you have in your life. Be mindful of who you surround yourself around. Be mindful of those you listen to. Be mindful of who those you believe in. Those who you allow to get advice from, you know? Because these people have real effects on your life. You got to understand that though you make your own decisions, though you make your own choices, that the people you believe in, the people that you're influenced by, the people you listen to, the people you believe in, the people that you have around you, the energy that you entertain and the people that you allow to have your time, right? You are obligated to know that certain people are not useful or good for you. Now, you're always going to have some good, good for nobody in your life, okay? Good for nobody, nothing in your life. And what, what I mean by good for nothing, nobody, I mean somebody who, when you're in distress, when you're, when you're in needs for help, when you're hurt, when you're wounded, it's like those people who see crime and uh, bad things happen in the world. You know, a lot of people who see, like, someone getting beat up or a woman getting her back snatched or somebody uh, abusing a child or somebody kidnapping a child, like, in midday. Like, something that couldn't be stopped by another individual. But instead of stopping the person or, you know, stepping in, having some greater courage... They took the time to record it. You'll always have those people who stand by and watch, right? Who will see you, will want to see you do bad, will want to see you not overcome. Those who sit by and not help. You know, when you got people around you that don't support you, that don't help you, that don't motivate you, don't you don't uh, encourage you to do better. You better execute and move those people out your life because they do not deserve you, bro. They do not deserve you. You deserve to be appreciated. You deserve to be encouraged. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be supported. And you deserve somebody to be there for you, right? You deserve somebody who's going to help you. So it's some people in this life that when you get hurt, they look... They'll watch. They won't offer you no assistance. They won't offer you no help. They won't render you no help. You got some people, like myself, I, I'm willing to help you. But if you trip and it was kind of funny, you know, I'm going to wait till after the fact to s laugh and see. I'm going to see if you're okay first. You don't have people who are very considering of you, your well-being, your health, um, you know, your space and how to respect you as a person because it requires knowing a person to know how to respect them because it was, it's levels to respect as it is to everything else in life. And you got to know the levels, okay? So save your energy because the people that you have around you, be mindful who you're listening to, who you're allowing to influence you, put in information about you. You got people who really don't believe in you around you, in your corner, in your life. You won't see until something that you really want to do and they're not supporting you. The words that's come out of their mouth are not encouraging. They're not like, yeah, you should go ahead and do that. You know, you're very passionate about it. Yeah, go ahead. You know, do what it's going to take. Figure it out. You know, friends that support you say, yes, you can do that. You can do anything you desire. Find a solution, figure it out. I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. You know, people who support you are with you. They encourage you. They say you can do it. They inspire you. They say despite the process, you can do it. You just got to figure out what it's going to take and you got to go with the flow. Or you just got to go with the process. It doesn't really matter which one you say, but, you know, somebody who supports you, talks to you, talks to the inner you. Talks to the inner king in you. Talks to the inner queen in you. Talks to the inner you. 
the inner high you, the inner you of great value, the inner substance of you, the inner power in you, the inner love in you, the inner peace and joy in you. Somebody who loves you, someone who cares about you, speaks to the you within. Don't speak to this outer surface you. Don't stroke your ego. Help you build your confidence and make you stronger and break from bad habits and break from bad patterns and make you realize that what you, what you've been told, what you've been lied to about, isn't real. Because all those things that people said about you aren't real. It's just a part of life and we all have those flaws and things that, that aren't right. But <laughs> what makes us perfect? Nothing. Because we're all imperfect. So, people who love you for you, okay? For you. Who are there for you genuinely with no agenda, no beneficial need. Who's there to really support you. Because... The reason why I say you want to be careful about the people you have in your circle is the most empowered because your belief system is it operates with people. You are easily influenced by people you believe in and what you and what you believe in in general. Your belief system has a greater control over you, your life and people around you. Right. So if you believe in the people around you and what they're saying. You're going to do what they say. You're going to. You're going to allow that to influence your behavior. You're going to allow that to influence your attitude. You're going to allow that to influence you in some sort of way. And the influence of belief is more powerful than you think. Your belief system controls your entirety, your life, your your mindset, the way you live, the way you think, the way you eat, the way you see, your, the attitude, everything about you. It controls you. Your belief, how you go about your belief, how you go about things in general. These things are the most powerful thing to the human concept. And if people never pay attention to it, your belief system and your how are so powerful. But yes, be mindful of what you believe in. Be mindful of who you keep around you. Be mindful of the circles you operate in. Because people in this world will conflict you with hate. Conflict you with problems. Uh, cause you to be heartbroken. Cause you to be in pain. Cause you to have setbacks. Cause you all this trouble. To see if you crumble and fall under their demise in disguise. People do things to see if you break. See if you break and crumble under their control. And once they realize that you've broken or you've crumbled under their demise they feel they have a sense of power over you some people only feel like they're doing you a favor but they're not they're not know your worth know your value love yourself forget people forget the opinions of people because the opinions of people don't dictate nor control your life only you can decide and choose what you want there's nothing outside of you that can control you the things that inwardly Control your life, your decisions, your thoughts, you know, the things that you do control your life. Nothing outside of you can ultimately affect you. Yes, yeah, there's a lot going on in the world. Yeah, it's a lot going on in every part of the world. But that doesn't mean everything around you, everything that's going on around the world has to affect you ultimately. Yes, it, it does have effect on us mentally. That's why you got to social detox. You got to get away from being on social media. Give yourself the things you need. Give yourself the rest you need. Take a break from it and come back a hundred times full. But that all also has a lot to do with the things you listen to. The things you, you know, uh, see. The things you, the people you surround yourself around, you know, because the people around you may not speak right about the things that's happening in the world. They not, they may not see things in a, a positive outlook the way you do. So they may have a negative outlook on things. So they may drag and drain your energy from the way they speak. You got to be mindful of energy, frequencies, vibrations, how people make you feel and how the energy is with people draining you be mindful because your energy is valuable you're important 
your livelihood is important. You deserve to be taken as important. Just know that you are worthy to be loved and cared for, okay? So despite what's going on in the world, uh, there's endless room for growth. And we all need to focus on who is helping us, who is supporting us, who is honest with us. Because you want those honest people in your corner that's like broody honest, telling the truth, like telling the ultimate truth, like despite how much it hurts, okay? You, must, you don't want anybody who's going to sugarcoat things. Somebody who is, despite that they may not agree with you, they still support you and encourage you to go on. People who love you regardless, despite your despite your um your negative traits or anything. People who love you, right? You know, you want people who are around you, not for what they can get from you, but what they you know what you guys can do together, or just the appreciation of you in general as a person. You know, you got to know the kind of person you intend to be, the person you want to be, the person you say you are, and what you decide, okay? Because all these things matter, and you got to line up with who you really want to be. So who do you intend to be? Who do you intend to be? I intend to be somebody amazing, somebody who's great, who inspires and influences people. I don't want people to idolize me. I don't want to be an idol or somebody who's idolized. I do plan to motivate i do plan to aspire and a lot of people see things from a different perspective but i am not god i am not somebody you need to worship i i am somebody who is a bro a sister who is a woman who is all about empowering the universe and the people around her so I love everybody who's watching and I hope this brings you peace love and happiness and I hope you understand that your importance is valuable so make sure you cut off what does not belong and you keep it moving okay love y'all